Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. It's when ish gets real. I you get shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items at my, at my job. He can play the right <laughs> Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. The thirst is absolutely real, everybody. I am Sir Aaron Carter, and this is the Video Game Bang live on NerdReactor.com. What are you reacting to, everybody? Am I too hot for you? I can't hear you at all. I can't even hear me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've been doing this for three years. I can hear Twitch music. Technology is, is difficult. Just put it that way. Are you? Are we recording? <laughs> Carry on. All Carry right, on. we're recording. Uh, Corsair Gaming, everybody, built everything around us. The house, the air we breathe, the water we drink. That's Corsair Air. That's Corsair Gate. That's Corsair running through your veins. Yeah. That's right. Corsair Gaming, everybody. Come sail away. If I do dance, it turns into uh, RGB. Yeah, literally. That's just, it's crazy how technology is, everybody. Uh, they did everything but the headphones because we kept those. And we added a mod mic, everybody. Antlion Audio, everybody. Get your mod mics. They're awesome, actually. I used them the other day. Crisp sound. Crisp. Like cookies crisp. I don't like my cookies crisp. Do they even sell cookie crisp anymore? Yeah, Potato yeah. chips. Do they? Crisp. Can you buy it? Yeah. It's literally just sugar and, and milk. Yeah. That's what you're drinking. It's shoved yeah. into a cookie chip. Delicious shape. sugar and milk. The l- least thing that I want in the morning is a bowl of sugar and milk. People so, have like waffles and pancakes and stuff too. That has some like That's grain sugar. Irrelevant, everybody. The real David Webb's here, everybody. Hey, everybody, how's it going? He is here, hot off the uh, Civil War. Or, yeah, the Civil Warfare. <laughs> yeah, Civil Warfare yeah. Press. Yeah. yeah, Civil Warfare Press. And uh, apparently, he left uh, a changed man. Actually, that's true. There it is. Because I went in wholeheartedly, Captain America. I came out wavering. Wow. Yep. That is crazy talk, everybody. Let's move right along. The mother of lizards, everybody, is here, everybody. Larisi, everybody. <laughs> that's that's my name in it's our group going chat to as stick. well. You're, You're welcome for that, by the way. And Corey is poopy pants. Well, there it is. <laughs> I wasn't poopy. Webb was poopy pants. Yeah. Oh. And then he was poop pants, Magoo. <laughs> yeah. I I currently in the chat am Aaron Carter. And Which Aaron is, sad. is Corey Vincent. That's Which is a, really confusing I when not, I get a group chat. His choice, by the way. Not my choice. <laughs> Literally not my choice. Would never be my choice. He texted me you, privately and said, please change my name to me, but I don't want to do it. Because I don't never do it. in my life. <laughs> Behind the ones and twos, everybody. Corey Vincent, everybody. You know, when you go to a movie, ladies and gentlemen, please don't be a-holes. Um, and what, talk hold on. The what whole was the biggest thing? offender? Please. What was the biggest offender? There's a guy right in front of me who anytime anything happened, he had to like turn to the person to his right and then say something audibly so that everybody in a two person radius could hear. Now, I said I was sorry. I was going to say Eddie, Eddie <laughs> Dylan Nueva just said sorry. Hey, do you see that? Yeah. 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 That's is literally what it you is. You can hear Oh, oh, that was Stan Lee. He's the guy who made Marvel. You know who I hate that? I when I watched the Deadpool movie, there were I, literally boyfriends everywhere saying that to their girlfriends, and I wanted to <laughs> chuck sodas right at their heads every single time. Explain after the Ex- movie. Take notes. Yeah. And then explain to your girlfriend after. Or tell your girlfriend to go read the damn comic books. I was texting Gondo. What? Yeah. Well, why I was were you watching movie? I was consulting Gondo. How do you? Why? <laughs> Spoiling. I'm sure he loved it. She's like, so who's the guy with the eye patch? And why did he just shoot Captain America in the back of the no, head? No, because I, I, don't, I was like, I don't want to say anything. But you, Larissa. In the comic books, um, Vision and uh, Scarlet Witch have a thing, and I and I was wondering about that. And he's like, yeah. no, they're actually married. And yeah. <laughs> and um, and believe it or not, her questions had nothing to do with like the romance. It's like, so his cock. Yeah. Is, it, is it like a, a? Is it purple too? Is it like or? a piston? Terrible. He's like a reddish purple. He's like a maroon. Uh, like a five. Bur- like a wine. Yeah, like a, like a wine. Yeah, yeah. A red wine. That's a, that's a good. Very accurate. A merlot. <laughs> He's a merlot. Yeah, a cabernet. He's a um, merlot. Okay. I had the screen brightness down to absolutely nothing. 
So it was. So really you won't be obnoxious. And my phone yes. Was on silent. Very good. Oh, okay. Um, Very yeah. good. So and you guys just and saw this yesterday, And when I look down at my right? phone, I'm not looking at like it like this in my face, so the people behind me can see it. I'm actually, it's like in my lap, and I'm just looking down. You guys did midnight shows Thursdays. No, no. we saw it uh, on actual launch day yesterday at a 9:55 showing. It runs a cool hour, two hours, oh, okay, and a half. Plus. God, it was so long. It was like two four. Good. No, that's movie. good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, considering it was a great movie, it really had me pushing my patience of how long I could sit there and watch a movie. I wouldn't recommend any movie go longer than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's good, Did you good, watch The yes. Lord of the Rings in theater? No. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. No, I ever. would never do that. No, no. you should never do Suicide. that. Suicide. No. Because yeah. uh, you got like Batman vs. Superman that did the same thing, but let's, let's be honest. That was two and a half hours of crap. Let's be honest. Yeah. And we saw this at uh, the RPX theater for Regal, so it's like got the bigger screen, eh. it's got the leather chairs. Yeah. You yeah, leather it, chairs. They finally got smart or what? In theory, the leather chairs, you know, the big cushy chairs are nice. But anytime anyone decides to adjust, you just have <laughs> fart noises <laughs> everywhere. Uh, and that took away from the experience as well. So I need to go see it again at a normal time because the people we were with were getting cranky. So, like, the person to my right and the person to my left who I went to see the movie with did not like the movie. Oh, what? So they were just bitching the whole time? Yeah. Oh, right. Be gone with you. Yeah. Be gone. Yeah. Why, you see, this is why I don't do day one uh, for movie theaters. I do not do day one for movie theaters. Too crowded, one. Um, I don't like a lot of people in the movie theaters. Oh, yeah, there was like a cool two, 3,000 people in the movie theater. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, like, that's what? so ridiculous. I don't people need that. sitting on each other. I want to go there when there's nobody. I'm the there only person in there. When we went. There was barely Yeah, I want to go at like uh, freaking 7.30 in the on morning. a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. Yeah, when everybody's at work. Morning? Third week of the movie being out, right there. Nobody's, everybody's at work. I'm the only one in the movie theater. Yeah, but okay, not a terrible have, idea. Yeah, and you then think I can about enjoy your it. friends though. Why? Because your friends want Why? to talk about it. No, we all have to be courteous and not say no. anything because you're taking too no. long to see the movie. That's, There's a leniency period, like for Star Wars. Yeah, I think it was yes. like a month. You yes. give everyone a solid month before what? it becomes public knowledge. No, that's no, that's fair. No, no, no. Yes. no that's fair. on Nine Gag already and on Reddit. That well, no, no, no. We're saying. Uh, to be courteous as face a courtesy, face. yeah. If yeah. you go search that crap out, that's on your own. If you're on guy the, that's on you, not yeah, that is all on you. Courteous. Uh, real quick, special shout out to Bezer Boy. I did my stream on Thursday, and he came all the way from the UK, <laughs> which is gross. Pause. <laughs> um, it's pretty damn far. Stayed up really it's late because you know it's what seven o'clock over here. It's you know six o'clock in the morning there. It's it's something like that. I don't know. I don't know the time change, but. He was like, uh, I got to go to school, you know, the next day. But whatever, Carter, we're going to go the whole night. We he, played some FIFA. Before you start, you know, praising him too much, he was <laughs> completely trashing your name uh, in Larissa's stream last night. Oh, wow. Saying you were terrible at the game. Wow. How he carried you. You scored like one point the he whole night. Carry. He did carry. He didn't lie. <laughs> so, I mean, as that long as he... That was him carrying? He carried. Good Lord. Man. He was just... He ca- well, because he... Webb, when you came in, we were on a losing streak. You guys... We were on a losing I streak came hard. In, I'm like, have you guys ever played this game before? Yeah. <laughs> no, we you were on a losing the, streak hard. The little white ball goes into the big square, right? He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a proper FIFA player, you know? But, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from the Brits. So, I mean, it's a it's, uh, big shout out to him. We got to do it again. I got to get better. I got to get on form. That's the problem. I wasn't on form. That's uh, what they call it in soccer. I wasn't wasn't on form. Wasn't on form. Who else is here? <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. Thank you, Webb. The last person always here, week in, week out. They sleep at home with their monitors on and the chat room open. The chat room, everybody. Say hello, chat. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. That was a little Hi. off, everybody. Well, because no one else fucking does their jobs. <laughs> we, we specifically put a non-alcohol thing so you guys will do your damn jobs. And, and it's not happening. Yeah, nothing. I, said hi, I brought chat. cookies, black and white cookies, for, cookies for everybody to see. And root beers. And, and some root beers that I almost Dang, got carded for. Dang, you guys are just on my case today. Damn, what the so? fuck? What are you uh, talking about? Objection. Uh, wait, I am on your case today. I was about to say, not you guys. We need to have a talk. Uh-oh. Well, like let's do some talking. Going. Is that like where right. this is going? <laughs> I don't do think some, it's that kind of talk. Let's do some talking right after do some banging around the web. Banging, banging around, around the web. web. Now, everybody was all excited to hear, oh, there's a new Call of Duty coming out. Oh, good lord. Were they? But then the trailer came out and the internet said, meh. 
And they no. made their man no, 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 no. loud. Yeah. Third, it's like the th- the third or fourth t- top disliked video. So it's next to Baby on yes. uh, Justin Bieber and Rebecca Black. Disliked. Disliked. So the yeah. Activision CEO responds to the negative comments. It's such a bullshit CEO <laughs> answer. God. It's it's it is the most BS I've ever heard. He said, first of all, you got to love the passion of the gamers. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Shut up. Okay, okay. That's a, this is the biggest spin tactic. Well, it was during a board meeting. I don't care. That's what why. It, it could have been him sp- rambling on the street. I don't care where it was. He had to spin it for the board members. Okay, well, you got to love the passion, guys. Yeah. Don't pull what, the funds yet. What were you going to say, Corey? No, I, I want you to continue, please. Okay, so he goes, first of all, you got to love the passion of the gamers. Mm. This is an industry like no other and fan base like no other. We love that our fans treat the franchise like their own. And have such a strong point of view about it. Uh, yeah. A strong point of view of hate? Str- uh, yeah. <laughs> Thumbs down. That's a huge, huge, huge point of view. Especially on the internet. I mean, Good Lord. we do everything for likes now. Uh, <laughs> there, uh, there just aren't many entertainment franchises on this earth that can generate that kind of passion for the Call of du- uh, that Call of Duty can. Uh, and that's a good thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's... He, everybody literally said, we don't care about your crap. I think all the thumbs up on the video are probably for Call of Duty 4 Remaster. I probably. literally think that's what it's for. Probably. Because, Corey, when we watched the trailer, what was the only part that we got even remotely interested? Uh, the remake. Yes. Of, and yeah. for me, the song. That will end use the SU, the song. But it's $80. <laughs> They're not going to sell the remake standalone. That's what sucks. Um, yes. It's $80 for Infinite Warfare and... Modern Warfare Remastered. It's one hundred and twenty dollars for like the Legacy Collector's Edition with <coughs> the season pass, the remake, the steelbook case, stuff like that. So basically, if you want Call of Duty <coughs> remastered, remastered, you have to pay eighty bucks. You're paying eighty bucks. Everybody's gonna trade in Infinite Warfare right after they buy it. I guarantee. So when you get your five dollars back for that, yeah, you'll be, right? <laughs> yep. you'll be happy that you paid seventy five dollars. Uh, Holy hell! Yeah, so there are no yeah. single. Uh, copies of Modern Warfare. Well, no, uh, I, I mean, I'm not 100% surprised about that, but I yet, am I surprised lose. that it's going to be $80. I mean, when yeah. Fallout 4 came out, they threw in Fallout 3 for free. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah, they did. Wow. But, but they that's didn't why. HD remake it. No, they, that's they true. It was an HD remake, but, but even still, I mean, but Black Ops everybody 3 is, is doing like... HD remakes. How hard is it these days? Is it? All right, let's put you in a room and have you <laughs> HD remake a game. <laughs> yeah, Challenge accepted. Let's do it. Mario <laughs> HD remake. Number one coming up to you. And uh, here's another little bit of news. Infinity Ward is not making the HD remake. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's another company making it. Huh. So... Good luck with that, everybody. <laughs> so, Aaron, I, put yourself in the shoes of that CEO. Okay. You're sitting in front of a board of people who you pay a lot of money uh, that all have a vested interest in this franchise. What do you say to them when they got over 700,000 dislikes? Uh, I walk Pull into, out, I, make a Halo exclusive for I the I walk into the boardroom. <laughs> Turn I look it at, into that. look at all those white people in the face, <laughs> and I go, what the hell? Who greenlit this? <laughs> <laughs> What and the then, damn hell? And then when they were like, "Well, you're the you're the CEO, sir," I'm like, "Who didn't stop me? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Jim? You're fired." <laughs> yeah, I, I I totally put the blame on somebody else. But I, you know, I I want to thank the gaming community though. I really do. This is the first time in a long time that they have actually voiced their dislike about a AAA franchise that seemed to like could do no wrong. Each Call of Duty that would come out, even when the trailer would come out, they'd be like, oh, yeah, it's Call of Duty. Finally, they they finally said, hey, you know, this isn't this isn't crap. Like, nobody, we're getting the same crap. You're just adding spaceships this time. <laughs> we don't care anymore. <laughs> so, one of the comments is, you know why Call of Duty went to space, right? Because it wanted to die in silence. There we go. <laughs> that is beautiful. Hey, oh. uh-huh. so, that is beautiful. Just some statistics here. The trailer has 11 million views on That's it. That's a lot of views. Yeah. Uh, negative ones, as we said, uh, dislikes, it had 785,000. Uh, but positive, you know, thumbs up, 230,000. Yeah, it's for, it's for four. <laughs> That's Holy for the remaster. Crap. So typically when you see a lot of dislikes, you know, there's... You know, twice as many likes. This is three times the amount of people who like it dislike this. 
Now here's the next thing we need to find out. How many people actually work for the developer? Because <laughs> if they have twenty thousand, if it because ma- yeah, if it matches, <laughs> they got twenty thousand people. That want. But yeah. So I I've never done this before at work. Um, somebody wanted to reserve Call of Duty, and I was like, mm, you sure? Wow. Are how you about sure? Battlefield? Wow. Fire. And I actually like I've never pushed a Battlefield harder than a Call of Duty. I was pushing Battlefield harder. Good segue. Battlefield has dropped its new trailer. Everybody, that was the next on the uh, the whole thing too. Actually, yeah. very good, yeah, Larissa. Thank you. Uh, Battlefield One goes back to World War Uno. Everybody feels like the most modern shooter for this generation. Did you guys get to see that uh, trailer? I did not. Did you see it, Larissa? Which one? The battlefield, yeah, literally, I know, what sorry. we're talking I about. I was flipping web off. I have no idea. The, yeah. the the one you were just talking about, I that know. game. Corey, did you get to see it? Yes. He's watching it right That's, now. Wow. <laughs> I, can see, I can see in the mirror. Now, I got a text message from our very own Jerry Paneri Khan saying, uh, hey, are we all just going to get Battlefield now? Yeah. Because nobody's getting Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm pissed off with Call of Duty because the crypto keys. Oh, oh, yeah. You yes, can yes, buy yes, them yes, with, yes, yes. with COD points and you get better stuff. Um, and yeah. I've earned all my crypto keys, and I mean, I get good stuff, but it's not as good as the people who actually paid for the shit, and that pisses yeah. me off. And it takes it's, it's a grind session when you're doing it just by playing to get the crypto right. keys. Uh, if you have, didn't know anything about World War One uh, web, then you're gonna get a little first class uh, schooling boy in Battlefield uh, One, which is actually I think I kind of like the name Battlefield One. Yeah, kind of makes it seem like they're starting it over it all over again, you know. Instead of going back to like the Byzantine, like area. Days of Future Past, yeah, exactly. Battlefield Days of Future Past, uh, erase the, everything. The trailer uh, showcased a lot of different um, weapons uh, and scenarios. Actually, that, oh, that show there. oh, that's mm. tight. We got horses. Oh, that's yeah. cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And at the very end of the trailer, the Zeppelin. Yeah, Led Zeppelin's in here. Led Zeppelin <laughs> and uh, He's in the game. ZZ Top. They're also making a cameo. <laughs> Dress, man. Uh, um, look at just for reference too, uh, thirteen million views on this one. Really, mm-hmm. uh, seven hundred thousand upvotes and thirteen thousand dislikes. Mm. So thirteen thousand dislikes is a pretty good. See, that's the ratio you'd expect. Seven hundred and fifty dollars, Aaron, on this stack, and then a negative thirteen dollars over here. You know, you're still doing pretty good. Yes. Uh, for Call of Duty, they're bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> they're a, bankrupt like three times. Negative fifty. They owe the players. Yeah, money. they owe the players money. <laughs> they, they should pay us something. Uh, chat really got fired up about those crypto keys. Let's, oh wow! Uh, yeah. Charles Manson says, "Ask those crypto keys." <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Ask them. Crust dog, a uh, Krug dog says, "Crypto keys are dumb. Mm. Just another way to make money well, on MG." Yeah. yeah, I mean. That's yeah, that's their model or whatever. <clears throat> Which I'm fine with, but in all fairness, like for those of us who aren't going to spend like real money, at least make the items even. I mean, don't give the people who paid for it better shit. That's not fair. I feel like every game assumes that you're going to make their game your favorite game of all time, and then just give them all your fucking money. And all the monies. I think they don't realize that a lot of us play a lot of different games, so I can't put the amount of money into one game that I put in the other game. Very right? presumptuous. Yes. Yeah, I never actually thought about that way. Um, in this new one, they're supposed to have, I guess, specialist classes. Uh, if you look in the trailer, they have, like, a, a pilot that has, like, a gunner on the side. Like, he's freaking flying the Millennium Falcon. And he's shooting <laughs> when the gunners are. The, you know how that yeah. is. Uh, but, of course, that's going to be stacked on the regular classes. The assault, medic, support, and scout that are already in the battlefield. Web, have you played a battlefield? What was the last battlefield you played? Um, I played four and hardline. Hardline? Was that the police officer one? Yeah. No, okay, I didn't get to play that one. Not... No, we played multiplayer beta. with that one. Yeah, we played the beta. Or was that the actual game? We played it at uh, Corey's. Felt like a beta. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you did say that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that one's going to come out. It's going to have the, all the classic stuff on there. Um, I'm really interested in how they're going to implement the horses in that. I, like, out of everything, like, can I ride the horse? Can the horse get shot? And then I just fall off the damn thing? Because then it's just <laughs> like... <Dead>. Somebody else's <laughs> horse and they fall off? Yeah. That's horse gonna... crushes their leg and they can't Can we walk crash anymore. into another horse? If it gets too cold, can you kill the horse and cut it open and sleep inside <laughs> of it for a night? I mean, these are questions we got to get answered. <laughs> uh, it says you'll have melee weapons as well, uh, and they're not all alike. Uh, this is the case of stab and win. It's a hand-to-hand combat. Hey! Thing. Microsoft! So if you have not... 
Uh, been out to the live show, everybody. What you just heard, of course, was a chatter following us. And usually whenever we get a follower, we like to do the wave. Right, Corey? That's right. But it's going to take me a second to queue it up. So... <laughs> Uh, you don't know what you're missing, first of all. You should be out there. So, Microsoft, is that his name? Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah. Clearly, uh, he was just one second short of the ba- the great Bill Gates making Microsoft, and he's just like, well, I'm broke now, so, but I'm keeping his name. I don't give a damn. So, let's give Microsoft a big wave. What is it? Corey, me, <laughs> Webb, and... Uh, you guys are talking, and I can't hear you. That's sad. Corey. I can hear the stream. I guarantee you, like, almost 100% has something to do on your end because I got you all hooked up you to the same. At all. Okay. I can hear the music. Corey, Aaron, Larissa, I can't hear your me. voices. Okay. Wave. The wave. <laughs> I can hear the music. <laughs> all right, here we go. Whoa. 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 That was way too many. Whoa. You tried to sneak an extra one Damn in it. there. I'm Sad a sucker for the wave. Thanks, Microsoft, for uh, joining and uh, following us on the Twitch. All right, because this is uh, what the show has devolved into. Uh, Aaron, you can hear my voice through your headphones. I right? can hear you perfectly fine. Web, so. put, it's a, the headphones. put on your headphones. Hear the music. We're going I can't to hear someone your listen. We're now going to test Larissa's headphones. Check one, two. Check, on. check, check. I can hear everybody. Shut wow. Up. I can hear. I hate you. Everybody. That's exactly what happens. Try it one more time. How do I sound, Larissa? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. All righty then. I could hear the wave music when you were playing it, but I couldn't hear anybody's voices. Crazy. It's okay. It's okay. I'm crazy. Yeah, we're going to have that talk. You guys sure. are so healing. I'm just singing. This is live can podcasting, I not, ladies and can gentlemen. I Woo! Sing Patsy Klein? I mean, I like the song. Sheesh. Uh, Microsoft is actually a person I know. So hey. awesome. Thanks for showing is up. Is his name Chill Snates? His name's actually Gary. That's very, <laughs> very anti-climactic. Yeah. <laughs> so his name's actually Gary. It's just, it's just Gary. Gary Hanson. <laughs> Gary Hanson. He He's makes, one of the Hanson brothers. He makes bottles <laughs> at, at a factory. That's what he does. <laughs> hey, Gary. Uh, his name's actually Mike, so it's a play on his name. Oh, okay. That makes a lot uh, But fun fact, he sense. likes PlayStation better than Xbox. <laughs> 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 it's an ironic play on his name. Uh, the search is over, everybody. A young Finally. Han Solo has been picked, and his name is Eldon Enrich. Huh? Nailed I, it. Idris Elba? No, and it's Idris <laughs> Elba, everybody. He's going to play the young Han Solo, because black, <laughs> black don't crack. Black don't crack. What's his name? Uh, Eldon Iron Reich. <laughs> I don't know. The first movie there, I saw him in. That's how you spell it. It was actually very recent. It was oh, the okay. one there was like thirty famous people in it. George Clooney was in it. Um, yes, he he played in the movie Hail Caesar. Yes, that Hail movie. Kaiser. Um, if you haven't seen that movie, apparently it's actually pretty decent. Eh. It's an artsy. Yeah, like, of course. It's the one where he gets kidnapped, right? Uh, what's his name gets kidnapped? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hail Kaiser. Uh, it's a DLC for Fallout Four. Yeah, um, where Kaiser comes back and uh, crap hits the fan. Everybody. But anyway, he's been picked to be uh, cast as the new Han Solo in the uh, Solo movie. I don't even know how you say that. The single Solo movie about Han Solo. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I was like, it's it was a solo. To, yeah, oh. it's a Solo movie, but it's a standalone movie. Dooch. There we go. And there was no joke there or whatever. Just like the Rogue One uh, Star Wars movie that's coming out, what, this year, right? Rogue One? Rogue One? Yeah, December. December. December, yes. So, uh, anybody excited to see uh, a Han Solo movie by himself? Prequel? I actually, yeah. I'm cautiously optimistic. Why? Because that's how you're supposed to that's be. How you, that is literally how you're supposed to been be. been hanging out with Aaron you know for a while. I'm, yes. I'm picking a few the things up. The secret story of pets or the secret life of pets. Yeah. Um, not familiar with that movie. So, so the solo did, movie. They did show a trailer of The Secret Life of Pets, and I have to admit, I was a little excited about it, especially at the very end. When they end. played System of a Down. Yeah, <laughs> they, they got my heartstrings wound up. I <laughs> knew it, too. As soon as I saw that end, I was like, fucking Corey, I can hear him laughing from the other side of the room. We're going to see this movie. <laughs> secret <laughs> Secret Lives of the... Of what? Pets. Of Pets. I've never even heard of this okay, movie. Okay, think of it like Toy Story. Okay. They leave the room, okay. toys come to life. Same concept, except it's the pets 
that come to life and they have a life of their own and they hang out with each other. What's that adult cartoon movie about food? Oh, with Sausage Party. Yeah. Sausage, sausage Party. Sausage yeah. Party. Yeah, that one, that looks interesting. Yeah, I'd, I'm I'd, excited for that, I'd too. I'd watch that. I know a lot of people are going to take their kids to that and, and what? really, you don't know, oh, trust yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Their parents are probably go out there and just look at the poster at the movie theater and be like, oh, that looks pretty. Just like all the people who came up to me at work who are like, w- w- what's up with this Deadpool movie? Uh, exactly. I was expecting superheroes, and yeah. I got filth. And I, got I walked out of the super theater. Super boners. So people just walk up. They see something. They're like, oh, food. It looks cute. I got my kids here. They're going to go into the movie. And oh, my God. A sucker is born every minute, ladies and gentlemen. Every second, basically. Yeah, it's 2016. And it's China. And it's China. <laughs> or India. <laughs> I have pissed off some Chinese people. <laughs> now, wow. I don't even say, uh, there's like a billion of them. <laughs> don't you? Do you uh, a billion people? <laughs> Only I do that. <laughs> we'll walk in front of the whole continent of China, because it is a continent by just, now. Just go, meh. And just go, meh, guys. <laughs> then just keep on walking. I don't know what you're saying anyway. Across the ocean. <laughs> if you guys uh, are listening to the podcast version, you can't see us. Uh, you got to watch us on Twitch because there are little memorable moments that happen during the shows. And one of them got sent to me in a private message the other day because I missed it during the show. And it was when we were talking about uh, Aaron high fives. Oh, yes. I I heard about it all during my stream. <laughs> Uh, Someone actually time stamped it, sent me a link, and I watched it. And as we were talking about how I never get high fives, Webb got one, and he was just riding the high of an Aaron high high five. five, And he thought he could get it whenever he wanted. And he goes up (laughs) another one, and he totally gets shut down. I did not see you. You did it. I know you did it. in my defense. (laughs) He he, he just gives this sorry look into the camera. He's like, (laughs) Wow. <laughs> the streak is over. If somebody could make a video of that and play the, uh, the whatchamacallit music. <laughs> Which the, one? The, oh, uh, the, from the Bat Flick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they deserve oh, a prize. <laughs> and speaking of prizes, everybody, patreon.com, we're going to be giving away a sweet, sweet prize this month, which I haven't decided what it is yet. I was going to say, do you know what it is? Because nice I need to get my promotional materials ready because I like to have a little icon at the bottom that says what it is. So I'm just going to put the Aryan, Aryan Mystery Box. The Aryan Mystery Box. The Aryan Mystery Box. <laughs> <laughs> the Aryan mystery the Aryan mystery box. <laughs> it's going to be a burning crucifix <laughs> on your lawn. <laughs> the Aryan you Starter free, Pack. <laughs> free sheet. <laughs> Sorry. You have to cut your own holes. Yeah, I was going to say, for legal purposes, we can't cut the holes in them. So you got to cut your own holes. Sorry. And we also, it also can't be white. We'll make it perforated for you, though, so you can just yeah. poke them out yourself. With we'll draw the out. lines. Yeah, we'll just draw the lines for you. Don't worry about that. And uh, That was probably one of the best parts of the Django Unchained. The Django? <laughs> My wife made all these sheets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look to the cookie, everybody. The black and white cookie. Look to the cookie for for unity. Oh, man. Look to the cookie. Uh, Twitch.tv slash video game <laughs> underscore bang. If you listen to the podcast, show up at least once or twice and say hello. Anybody uh, popping off in the chat right now? Uh, <laughs> I hope not. Uh, Charlie says, whoa, this is this kind of podcast. Charlie, you know what it is. <laughs> Charlie knows what it is. His Charlie, name is Charlie Manson. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. But I just realized the the bad part about bringing food to a podcast <laughs> because you had an idea there, it didn't ends up you? On Corey's Web. Floor. No, he was just thinking. He's like Charlie Manson. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, mm. I'm gonna get to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say my thought, but first this cookie. Damn it! See, we banned we banned alcohol <laughs> for Larissa. Now we're gonna have to ban Why? cookies we for banned Web. Alcohol? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So Aaron was eating one too. But did, you didn't we ban alcohol? No. It's FCC regulation. It is an FCC. You're not allowed regulation. to podcast and drink at the same time. Yeah, it's it's. If we got caught, they could shut us down. They could shut us down. Just why do you think we couldn't poke holes in the damn yeah. sheets when we give them away? No, what my thought was is, oh, it's a soft cookie. No one's gonna be able to hear us chewing. Yeah. And no. then there was a pause. I can hear you and me both chewing, and I was like, damn. Yep. Yep. Then they go. Uh, Snapchat is being sued. Everybody. For encouraging teenagers to drive 107 miles before oh, crashing. Yeah, because people are doing those uh, where they snap, they video chat their um, into the mic. MPH. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you guys know that Snapchat has achievements? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's an achievement. 
I think so. Oh Traffic accidents God. happen all the time, of course. Uh, phone usage is something, uh, or sometimes a cause. I just saw that literally on Friday. A young lady smashed square into the back of another car. You guys stay off your phones, definitely. A <laughs> little small side one. Have you guys seen the um, anti-texting um, campaign that's going on? No. Called, like, Make It Awkward. Mm-mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should not be texting while you're driving. But it shows, like, somebody driving, and then their phone goes off. And so they go reach for it, and the passenger, he just puts his hand on top of his other, on the, on the driver's hand, and then, like, <laughs> stares into his eyes as he's, like... That's genius. And he's like, and then it says, make it awkward. And so, <laughs> so they won't text. Don't text and drive, everybody. I usually don't multitask because I'm drinking. Uh, if you don't use Snapchat extensively, uh, that probably sounds like something that's, you know, inaccurate with the whole fast or whatever. But if you ever use it really, you know, crazy, there's little filters. So you could take a picture and then you like swipe right or left or something like that. And it shows uh miles per hour mm-hmm. it'll mm-hmm. you know turn you a different color or something like that like oh people does God. show you the time and all that type of thing um so last september 18 year old crystal mcgee was driving down georgia highway uh while driving she decided to use snapchat because that's the smartest thing in yep. the world uh to take a photo of herself going 100 miles per hour a passenger in the car says uh she saw mcgee's report at 113 miles per hour at one point for the car collided with Wentworth Manyard. I guess that's how you say his name. With Wentworth Manyard's car. Uh, police estimate that she was driving 107 at the time. Manyard was in a coma for weeks and has permanent brain damage uh, from the crash. According to his lawyer, McGee was still coherent enough after the crash to post another Snapchat in the back of the ambulance. Are you freaking kidding wow. me? Wow. This is, is what our society, yes. This is exactly where our society has come to. Oh, my God. <laughs> Police is that re- what you really want to be doing on your way out? Right? You're in the ambulance. You're some, in the ambulance. Some people, yeah. What, what, did, what did the snap say? Oh, in ambulance, It y'all. said, <laughs> it said it's, it's like a bunch of slurred just jargon, I'm sure. Just is habit. <laughs> IVs as, are the worst. As you're... <laughs> As they're going brain dead, you just see it. Hi, I'm in the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Said monkeys fly cheese. <laughs> and then just blood everywhere. <laughs> the EMT's going. <laughs> <laughs> Photo bomb. bomb. <laughs> Looking at his watch. Not going to make it. <laughs> Not going to make it. Uh, where is that? Police originally thought Manyard was at fault for pulling out. Uh, pause. <laughs> in front of McGee. But. That was before they realized how fast uh, the teen had been going, or she was doing so at the um, urging of the app uh, on her phone. But uh, Manyard is seeking damages from McGee and Snapchat. He uh, alleges, uh, where is that? My phone keeps turning off, sorry. Basically, he's suing both of them. He needs a lot of money. He's going to win Yeah. because, I mean, literally, he's in the right. And I've never she, used that feature on Snapchat before. I didn't even really know it was a thing, or th- I didn't even know there's achievements. Yeah, what do you do with said achievements? <laughs> what Nothing. do you do with Microsoft achievements? What do you do with trophies on, um, PlayStation. on that's PlayStation? That's what it is. They're, they're trophies. They're just there. Bragging well, rights. I know what I do with trophies. I like wow. to hold them on stream. and You didn't like to not live up to them? <laughs> they oh, get hey-o. Smashed in, in the said game that you won trophy in? Put beer in it and drink out of it? Terrible. That's all you need to know. Terrible. Uh yeah, d- please do not Snapchat and drive. And I I have a coworker. She does this all the freaking time. Um, she literally snap long Snapchats. And oh, that. you showed me this uh this right creature, and it's just a long, long, long like three minutes worth. Of it. And and aren't they supposed to be like ten seconds? Yeah, but then you stitch them together, and it makes a freaking story. And yep. It's ridiculous. I've actually stayed off of Snapchat. Um, j- instead. <laughs> and, and, Except to look at other people's, you know, but I haven't, I've never done a little actual He showed snap. me this person, and this person is the type of person who will be in the back of an ambulance snapping. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I was just on the other side of the room, and I hear, I'm driving to work, y'all. Oh, this is my song. <laughs> okay, I'm walking through the parking lot to get to work, everybody. Hey. Yeah. Oh, look, that's Be- Beverly. She's a bitch. Hey, what's up? That's my coworker. <laughs> to be honest, Lee. Beverly is one though. She's, <laughs> nobody, 
Nobody can stand Nobody Beverly. Likes Beverly. Work. Nobody likes Beverly. And she's watching right now. I'm yeah. putting my hey, Beverly. food in the company refrigerator before I clock in, motherfuckers. But I mean, as a society, now that's what we're at. It's accurate. A lot oh of people. Oh my goodness. And I tell everybody, I, I went on a hiatus from uh, social networks for a little while. This is before the show, literally before the show. So, uh, what, three years ago, four years ago? Yeah. And um, I probably wouldn't have social media that much if it wasn't for the show. Because I don't really, I mean. I wouldn't have Facebook if it wasn't for the show. Yeah, like, I don't really post anything. I mean, Same when here. I, I'm going to start the, I the video my blog. I started Facebook and Instagram yeah, you have and totally because changed of the show. up, yeah. I've never had social media since before that. She was one of those tinfoil hat wearing. Yeah. Yes. yes. And now yes, she sends us The government's going to take my baby book. type of thing. <laughs> But now she's all over the place, and when the government takes your child, you know what happens. <laughs> you could Snapchat your fault. about it. Freedom. You, <laughs> your fault. Um, Why would they take my kids? Was, it's a conspiracy joke. Jeez. Right over her head, everybody. You can find her at uh, <laughs> the Men in Black thing. Oh, side note. Has anybody watched... Um, uh, the BuzzFeed videos, they're all over the place. Oh, yeah. I yeah, they do. They do a, a weird thing, which I really enjoy uh, watching, Was is those uh, BuzzFeed mysteries. Has anybody seen those? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. They're so... Uh, if they're, they come far and few between. Pause. Uh, and I enjoy every single one of them. Pause. Uh, <laughs> but they did one about men in black. And that's why I'm thinking about it. The, the you know, government taking my baby type of thing. Uh, but they caught... Two men in black on footage coming into a hotel or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's like the strangest thing ever. Like eyewitnesses talk about, they look exactly the same. They have no eyebrows. They're like they look just strange. So if you have a uh, an alien encounter or something like that, and you kind of go public with it, then you'll get a visit from the men in black. Strange thing. Very strange. Wait, like legit? Legitimate. Legit men in black. Legitimate men in black. This is why I like it so much because it's it, the whole the whole thing is one person who doesn't believe at all, you know, giant skeptic, you know. You tell him uh, Bigfoot is sitting right next door, and he's like, "No, no, he's not." And then the other guy that wholeheartedly believes in the stuff, trying to convince the other guy, and he's giving him the facts and everything like that. And I love it so much. It's the it's the it's the Mulder and Scully type of thing, you know. Yeah, season one, season one. Not, not the, eventually she comes around. Yeah, eventually comes, she I mean, comes she around. Has to come yeah. around. Yeah, but it's season one. That's why I'd say it that way because she didn't believe crap in the beginning. Even though a flying saucer would go right over her head. Like, nope. Nope. Hollywood. Weather balloon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's it's so entertaining. They do that. They do murders. Um, they did one. Th- the creepiest one to me, in my opinion, was the young lady that got found uh, dead in a hotel in L.A., but in the... Uh, the water, uh, what's the thing in the top? Um, oh, the, um, the where they have like the water storage no, on the, the roof? Yes, yeah, so the water storage on the roof. Not the sprinkler, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, Dead no. on a sprinkler. <laughs> yeah. That's what they found her, yeah. Uh, that one was interesting because they actually have footage from the uh, elevator camera like uh, an hour or so before she was found, or the like the night that she was dead. And she was, she was like peeking out of the elevator as if somebody was following her. Then she would stand outside the elevator door talking to nothing and then she would like hide behind the the elevator wall and like it was the creepiest thing and i was like yeah she something was wrong with her either she was on some they found no uh drugs in her system whenever they found her body she was naked in the little water well or whatever it's called and uh the only way they found her is when um hotel uh people actually reported that the water tasted funny. Oh. Yeah. Why would you drink hotel water? <laughs> that's, what you, that's what she focuses on the whole story. <laughs> oh, they drink hotel water? I don't I don't like sink water. I don't wow. like any of that stuff. Has it anybody ever seen the movie with Julia Roberts? Water? Pretty Woman. No. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron Brockovich. Oh, no. oh yeah, where she know. talks about the chemicals. Pretty one was a bit. Of, yeah, pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, bottled water. Filter. Huge mistake. Uh, Huge. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, BuzzFeed Mysteries or are, are whatever it's called. I'm going to binge watch those. Too. It is so good. I loved it so much. I love type of those type of mystery things. By That's the way, my, did I tell you guys genre. that UFO landed in my backyard last night? 
You just want to see. <laughs> you you want to poke the dog, don't you? That's what you want to see to see if it comes at you. All right, we're looking for a replacement because the man black. Is- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, their yeah. most famous person, just the last thing on this one, was Dan Aykroyd. He actually reported that Men in Black visited him when he was really? trying to, I think it was pitch a show. Uh, Called to, Men in Black. No, no, no. Pitch a, uh, like a, a, a sci-fi hunter, like an alien hunter show. Yeah. Or whatever, where they were actually going to have like, you know, real events. And he said he got visited, or he saw the, the Men in Black person, and then two hours later, the producers came up to him and was like, nope. We can't do it. Sorry. Too close to the truth. It's like fable. Your call, everybody. <laughs> no. it was too, yeah. too close. Too, too close to the truth. We got to ease it into the people. Slowly. That's pause. <laughs> uh, pause. So speaking of aliens, Supergirl is in trouble, everybody. Is she? Yeah, because she's probably not going to get renewed for a second season. <laughs> or. Or, yes, there's also an or in here. You want to finish the or? Or she's going to be moved to the CW, which she's is where she should have been the whole time. Exactamundo. Supergirl is in trouble at CBS. Might have to flee to the CW, everybody. Literally should have been the first thing. I mean, they got the arrow. Yeah. They got the flash. It's the same producer for both. Same producer for both. What Why were they not? Thinking? Yeah. They're technically in the same. They're yeah. not. There was a crossover, right? Because he yeah. goes to her dimension, right? Well. They're well, in. They're not in the same universe. But they're in the same don't. realm. <laughs> as far as DC TV shows, yes. there you go. Boom. They're both there DC you go. TV both shows. Both DC TV shows. But he had to have an interdimensional yeah. to travel. And I actually didn't. Uh, I did not get to see that. Was that a Supergirl uh, episode or a Flash episode? I think it was a Supergirl episode. Because I didn't watch it. I just read I the watched about the it. Flash episode where he runs with that thing on. Yeah. And then he goes through a uh, portal, but then he comes back one second later, and then he's like, "How long was I gone?" And they just skip over it as if he never left. Then he just rolls on. And I was like, oh, maybe that's what that was. Like, maybe they should have flashed something in that split second saying, watch Supergirl. <laughs> and then. They have a, a pop up of Supergirl? Yeah. Like a little see through, like yeah. we're going to do with. Uh, film Lossifers? Yeah, Film Lossifers yeah. this uh, weekdays on Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesdays <laughs> on... Yeah. They should have done something like that. Then maybe, you know. I think if they move to the CW. Okay. They should write it so the season ends with her, and I'll let the writers figure out the details. But wow. Okay. How I'm nice just of the you. Idea man. Right. Really? <laughs> I'm just the idea guy. You you do the work. I'm just the idea that, guy. I just give you guys the uh, the outline. You guys fill they, in the words. <laughs> you guys fill in the words. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> the first thing he talks about is, oh, anyway, we can make an HD remake. Yeah, how hard is it? How hard <laughs> right. is it? Take? You can take no man hours. Ideas, boom. <laughs> yeah. That's what I got for you. Here's an idea for Supergirl. I'll let the writers take care of all the details. <laughs> Think about this. An alien anyway. with powers, you guys fill in the blanks. Yes. <laughs> Who's afraid of rocks? Mike, Go. Mike dropped. <laughs> Make it a hit. <laughs> Somehow, for, she travels to the same dimension as Flash and Arrow. Since she's going to be on the same network, they should be able to do crossovers okay. as frequently as they do. But how do you how do you fix the... She just leaves all her folks? Forever? It's writers. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So you just fill that in. I don't care how she does it. Just get her out <laughs> of there. Somehow she's there. Just get her out of there. She's trapped now. She uh, flies so fast, and at that same time, the flash is going so fast, and they tear a hole. You two Pause. working together. You guys just... <laughs> that, yeah, what are you yeah. doing here? I know. <laughs> Wasted talent is what I see. <laughs> Wasted talent. You guys should be off writing the next episode of Game of Thrones. No, oh, we just we just come up gosh. with the ideas and then we say, okay, you guys do it, and we're off the rest of the day. <laughs> is everybody caught up on Game of Thrones now? Yeah. Uh, yes. Tomorrow is going to be the uh, the newest episode mm-hmm. where we get to see uh, boobs. Probably. probably. <laughs> Hopefully. Obviously. Hopefully not old ones. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That's what we don't need. When to that see. happened, I was just like, <laughs> did that happen in the last episode? The the problem with the, it's not that. The problem that <laughs> it's not that they happened, were old. It's the problem of how long they wanted to linger on that shot, <laughs> as if we didn't get it, right? They wanted to slow pause and then pull the camera. And then here's a picture of her ass. It's like we get it. She's it's like, fucking old, right? Like yeah. Oh, Take the camera come off. On. Come on, guys. Oh, we don't need to see how close to her knees her boobs are. <laughs> <laughs> because the actress in real life, uh, it's kind of stupid body, like. And how old is she? She's like 35, 36 or something? She's they put like prosthetics and stuff on her? I don't know what's on her. Fine is on her. <laughs> that's what is on her. But really? Old, is that your, uh, have you not seen that body? That's your type right there? 
that body's my type. <laughs> That body's your type. That body is every man's we mean, type. We mean it. Well, minus <laughs> the, some people I know. The person who plays <laughs> the person who played the old lady is actually thirty five. No, 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 no. The the the, the red, what is the it? actual the red, red witch or whatever oh. she is. Her name is Karis Van Hooten. She Van Hooten. sounds like she would be. How some how old is she? How witch. old is Van Hooten? Uh, I will look for those details. Looks like she was born in uh, 1976. So uh, whoa, you guys do the math. <laughs> you fill in the blanks. <laughs> right in the blanks. <laughs> I don't know how she is. You fill in the words. Well, no, she's like 40 almost. Well, that's the smoking this hottest 40 body I've ever seen, and I've seen she none of them. <laughs> He's oh seen God. so many 40 year olds. So many 40 year old <laughs> bodies. It's ridiculous. Van Hooten, you get a thumbs up in my opinion. That's uh, all she's been looking for. Yeah. That's what she got in the business in the first place. Validated. That's what she's just yeah. been. Um, <laughs> no. She, she's, uh, she's uh, yeah. You, so you're disagreeing, Corey? You saying no? I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Van Hooten. Van Hooten. Google her. What's the, what's the question here? You haven't seen her naked? Well, I've seen her in Game of Thrones. So you've seen her naked? Yeah. Yes. And okay. that body isn't crazy? That's what I'm asking right now. It isn't crazy? Good. As in... Hot. Hot. As in attractive. Jeez. As in you would hit that. Uh, I mean, What is wrong with your cerebellum? She is to Corey as China is to you, Aaron. <laughs> Meh. So is China yeah. to... Wait, black, me? wait, wait, wait. wait. Wrestling China or black China? Terrible. The country. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> What? I thought we were talking about the dead pro wrestler. Dang, Larissa. That, too soon, sir. <laughs> wow. Too soon. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, I wow. urge you, you. You need to go and look at some, some pics of her or some something porns. like that. Because she, she has a crazy smoking hot body for her age. Yeah. All right. I'll give you that. All right, everybody. Uh, CW. You, you actually pick see up, a picture now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. CW, pick up the... Uh, the Supergirl, and let's get this thing moving. Let's make one Justice League on the TV. How about that? You know, way better than they them. can do it better than the cinematic universe. Yeah, they can. And did you hear that uh, Batfleck is signed on to be a producer now? For, oh, great! Uh, Give the man more power for, yeah. for Justice League. Let's just have him run for president too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're going. Might as well. Geez, it's crazy. Ben Affleck just keeps rising to the top despite failure. Like. Uh, he fucked up Daredevil. Let's make him Batman. Yeah, Batman sucked. Let's let him be the producer. Said producer. Let's, let him direct a new Batman. Yeah. And you know what's happening next? Producing is uh, done. Let's move him over to being Thor. And then next thing you know, Avengers three, directed by Ben Affleck. Yep, starring Ben Affleck. <laughs> starring Ben Affleck. That's Captain America. Like, <laughs> wait, where's just Thor in the last movie? <laughs> <laughs> I do it all, man. I do it all. The city deserves me. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> I am the hero. I am the hero the city deserves. Uh, sometimes in your life, everybody, there's that one. They come into your life. And they change everything. They show you what it's supposed to be. I captured it with a master bowl. Terrible. But that's a good one. You're welcome. Um, and then it rips out your heart and goes away. And then another one comes. And you're like, You know, I know you hope. so well. I know exactly what this is a euphemism for. What is it? You're talking about EverQuest Next, aren't you? EverQuest Next. Knew it. Was that one. And now there's a new one that's trying. And I'm afraid it's going to fail. <laughs> You're afraid to fall in love. I am. You have commitment issues now. Chronicles of Illyria, everybody, mm. is going to be the first MMO, if successful, where your character grows old and dies. Oh, I don't like it. Can I have lots of babies with people? Yes, you can. Yes. So, <clears throat> this game... And do I get to play my children? Yes. Okay. Do you get to play all my children? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, we have a lot. So, this game, Chronicles of Illyria, is uh, set in like a high fantasy type of world. And it's trying to revolutionize uh, MMOs. Kind of what their whole um, their whole staff is saying, right? Um, have any of you heard of this? Because Jerry's the one that put me onto this one. I heard of it from you. I've heard you talking about it. So Chronicles of Illyria, MMO, trying to revolutionary, uh, revolutionize uh, MMOs. Uh, you grow old and die. Your lifespan is about an actual year in real time. 
That's your lifespan okay. of your character. So it's, it's calculated in the time that you play. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I was going to ask. So if I start a character and then play and then leave 364 days later, am I an old guy geezer right where I was before about to die? No, like total you, time played. No, total time played. How is that fair? No, what total you, time played. So yeah, but I, how is that fair? If I'm only on for five hours, I'm then only, you're five hours. Old. Then I'm only five hours older. When I log off, time stops for my character. How yeah. is that not fair? How is that not fair? Well, because it's like if I play less than you, your character is going to die and be gone. Yeah, but I can my play all the even... many children I'm going to have, and they're going to be badass because they're probably going to inherit the skills of their parents. So that means I got to be selective about my breeding. Look at Larissa <laughs> thinking. <laughs> like, boom, I'm already there. Properly. I got this. Okay. So when your character actually dies, say you go up against a bear, we'll just put that in there, and <laughs> you get killed. You go to the, like, I think they call it like the astral realm or the, you know, nether realm or whatever, and you have your little spirit or whatever. And you have to find your body again, of course. Uh, of course. But if you start dying a stupid amount of times, your tether to the real world gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Because permadeath is actually in this game. Okay. So you have to really be careful with your decisions on what you go up against in this game. You're not just run and fight everything because I'm the hero. Which you're not in this game, actually. You're just a person trying to make it. They want to push the idea of you're not special, but what you do can be. You get it, Webb? Yes. You're looking confused. So it makes sense because in every video game you play, you're the hero. You're the chosen and one. And then you yeah. go into a town and we're all the hero. <laughs> Everybody's the chosen yeah. one. Yes. We're all the chosen one. Wait, what, what am I chosen to do? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Gandalf talked to you too? <laughs> yeah. Son of a... No, no, no my mom to. said I was special. Exactly. <laughs> They, they want to throw that out the window. Nobody's special. You're all the same. <laughs> but what you can do in the world could presumably be Good special. Lord, I hope it comes out then. Well, well it's a very ambitious I game. I can do some amazing things. Very, very ambitious game. They're getting away from, they said, the uh, point-and-click uh, combat. Hard. It's not going to be that. It's all skill-based combat. Mm. Third-person camera like Smite, of course. Um the world is progressive. Close. Oh, I have the notes right in front of me. Why am I trying to just think about it? It's going to be a closed economy, uh, of course. And so the, the big thing also was, if you think about MMOs now, there's either sandbox or theme park. Mm -hmm. Theme park is your wow. It's Wait, giant. what? They're sand <laughs> of course. I'm sorry. I was reading chat. Uh, what are they saying in chat before I go into this? Um, one? This is actually detailed. Go ahead. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing of importance. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, in MMO, Sand Park or Theme Box? Mm -hmm. Wow is your Theme Park. Um, Sandbox is, um, let's say, Grand Theft Auto Online, maybe? That's not an MMO. But, uh, you know. So, basically, let me explain to you. Mm -hmm. Theme Park is, you drop into the world, they give you all this lore, hit you right in the face, you're doing missions, by the end of the game, that's it. Right. You know, you have a whole bunch of things to do at a theme park, but you're not advancing anything in the story. It's it's always going to be it's that enclosed. way. It's, that's how it is. Exactly. Until an expansion comes out. And then they move the story along for you. You know, then the theme park moves forward. Right. Sandbox is they give you a whole bunch of stuff to do. There is no story. You make the story. You're kind of making the story yourself. I like uh, but there's never going to be a story in the sandbox. There's always just going to be just things to do. Like uh, Minecraft. There you go. There's a good one. Yeah. Minecraft is a giant game where you can a lot of people can play on a server, but there isn't necessarily a story unless like the server people make it themselves. Right. You're not going to have anything, any paths to follow. Well, this game is going to try to blend both of that. They're going to give you that sandbox, open world type of the deal uh, and the lore behind the stuff, but you're kind of kind of driving the story, you know. So this game is uh, may not come out. I mean, it is, it a, is Kickstarter. a Kickstarter. That's so, the thing. And the ambition of the Kickstarter is they're going for $900,000. 900000 is a lot of booty. That is. Uh, and they are at 598000 And I am actually thinking about kicking into this one. What? Wow. 598000 They're almost there. Well, they got they're 26 days to do it. <laughs> oh, shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. And that's why I'm a little standoffish about it because it's like, it's it's trying to do a lot of things. So I watched this whole like thirty minute thing about the uh, with the developers talking about this game, and uh, we should reach out to them 
just to try to you know see if they'll be interested in coming on the show and defending this because there's a lot of things that I agree with, but then there's one major thing that I disagree with. What is that? And that's their um, when you die to make another character, you pay uh, an amount of money dollars, and the amount was now this is all up in the air because it could change. Of course, it's Kickstarter, but what I heard one of the developers say the amount is akin to an expansion. Shit. Yeah. But it's better than paying monthly. Yeah. Don't you just hate when people do that? Like like when you go to get ice cream and you're like, you see a nice new ice cream and it's like, oh, it's got chocolate and peanuts and swirl and marshmallows. And then we threw some salmon in there. <laughs> <laughs> Like, can I have it without the set? No, no. No, no, it just, that's Salmon how you do it. has to be in there. You're just like, oh, this is so good, and then, oh, swerve. Boom. <laughs> and that, yeah, that's the part that really, like, hit me, like, oh, shoot. Like, why, guys? You guys had it. <laughs> you were so close. And then all of a sudden. So, the mechanic that you were talking about, if you die, <clears throat> you can go back and play as your kid. Now, you don't have your stats, of course, because that was your other person. Mm-hmm. That was you. But... You learn those stats that yeah. you mastered so quickly because well, you're you're taking the genetics of your parents. Hundred percent. That is calculated into the child. So you have to pay for that. Have, That's what I would assume. I don't. I, I have mean, children. No, not to have children. You can have as many kids as you want. Good. Apparently. I'm going to populate the servers. And so things that you do <laughs> are more be like, no, like a... that. She's important now. She's really important. <laughs> She wouldn't just be. She You're wouldn't not just, just a whore like you'd be in this world. <laughs> You're wow. important in that world. You're a queen in that world. She just say, has permanent residency at a hotel where she just what legs I'm are open. You see what I'm saying? Do you see this? Say, this started yesterday. We're gonna have a talk. Say Larissa literally has like 300 kids in the game, right? Yeah. That's a change in the world that she has made, <laughs> as opposed to yes. just with being, well chosen genetics. Or she's so. on welfare and. <laughs> 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 But, like, the, I mean, I, I really love the ideas. And we can delve in a little more deeper, you know, after this. But, the, you know, when we go into a little extra, uh, if you're not listening, or if you are listening and you're not in the live chat room, everybody, you are doing yourself a major disservice. You need to be at twitch.tv slash video game underscore bang every Saturday at about 9 o'clock uh, <laughs> ish. And uh, you get the full experience. You get to see our beautiful faces, and you get to interact with us in the chat room, like the chat room always does. Um, we always usually go a little bit over time as well. I kind of make the notes longer just for that thing as well. And you got to be out here to you know see it. I mean, what are you doing on a Saturday? What partying? Come on, <laughs> come on. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. If you know what Twitch is, you're probably not part of exactly. on a Saturday night. Uh, head over to uh, nerdreactor.com if you want to see some of our articles. I got one coming up, of course, about the Black Panther. Are any of you guys doing a uh, Civil War review? No. That sounds like a no right I would there. do a five things I disliked about it, but I can't come up with that many things. Oh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I like that. Uh, head over to patreon.com and help us help you help us help you. Uh, for the bare minimum, you get entered to win a sweet prize at the end of the month. Which this month is? Is something from thinkgeek.com. That's all I'm going to say. As right chosen there. by Aaron. Yes. And you'll love it, everybody. Maybe it'll be a dark man pop vinyl. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. If I can find one. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it helps us do a lot of stuff. We need chairs for the studio, and that's you know important to us, right? Yeah. You don't like sitting on rawhide. Uh, I, I've kind of slowed down on that one. <laughs> says the guy that it's not uh, a huge priority for me anymore. <laughs> says the guy that's sitting on the freaking throne, Game of Thrones over there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, any other things you guys want to plug before? Um, no. I think you did it. Awesome. Good job, man. sir. Uh, for Larisi. Queen of the Lizards, Corey Vincent, the real David Webb. I am Sir Aaron Carter saying, look to the cookie, everybody. Black and white brings us together. Peace, bitches.